Oh, you into fitness? Wrong place, right guy. I'm Scully, and this is the SoFly Zone. Everything you see here has been shot, edited, and uploaded from my phone so you can see what it's like day by day for an aspiring fitness model. So, let's go. Alright guys, it's Monday. Headed home from work. Um, forgot my pre-workout. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go head home. I could just go stop at the gym, do it without it, but this is my last week running fat, so I wanna make sure I get the, you know, the very most out of it. Um, and it's, I had my lunch today, it's official. Sweet potatoes are like the French toast of the vegetable world, cause man, I had one for dinner last night, I had one for lunch today, man, and it's awesome. I added these little, with, you know, they have free coffee at work and so they have like creamer and you know Splenda sugar all that stuff um, so there's this sugar free creamer that they have I put one of those packets it's just like a gram and a half of fat you know heat up my sweet potato put that in there mash it all up put the brown sugar Splenda brown sugar in there put some uh, Walton Farms pancake syrup on it man this it tastes too good to be good for you, man. It's so crazy. So that was pretty awesome. I think that's, I'm gonna go stock up on those eventually. I got, you know, I got two more left and they're pretty big. I need to, that's the only thing, like, you know, 250 grams of it is like a good bit of carbs, but whatever. It's real filling, so I like that. And, uh, what else? Oh, man. Over this past two days, I've had to deal with a little bit of drama. I mean, I don't know if y'all have ever had this happen to you when, you know, you're just a little bit too, like, you're nice enough to somebody, you, you know, you're not trying to be rude or mean, so, you know, you're trying to be nice, and then it just comes back to bite you in the ass, so, I'm dealing with that right now, I don't know how it's all gonna pan out, but, whatever, you know, it's just how it is, I, I mean, you don't want to be a dick to people, but, Sometimes people force you to do it. Like you, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, so heading home from work, about to take out my frustration on this workout. Hopefully that works out good. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna. Uh, I usually take moments like this to be you know extra productive. So put up the video. You know, finish up those advertisements. Put up the video on oh you in the fitness, and you know get my dinner together then. I don't know, probably clean up the house, do laundry, everything. So, you know, this this change that's just happened, depending on how it pans out, it might cause me to have to, like, really buckle down with my finances and get everything together. So I need to start working on a plan for that. But I'm ready, man. No matter what, I'm going to, it's going to happen. So, let's go. What up, guys? Fresh new bottle of P3. Also got sent out. Uh, Niagen NR, and this stuff is supposed to be for like concussion prevention, and you know, you just helps you out with that. But also, it's supposed to have uh, affecting your metabolism too. So we'll see. I'm gonna try this stuff out. I'll probably, I might start. I'm, I wonder if I should save this for when I start my lean bulk. Hmm. I don't know. We'll talk to Tyler about it. See what he thinks. But. Get this workout in, let's go. All right guys, back from the gym. About to go start editing these videos. Get this out the way. It's already like, I don't know, a little past seven. I don't know how people have so much time to like watch TV. People complain that, oh man, you don't keep up with stuff. You don't keep up with the news. You don't keep up with TV, blah, blah, blah. But I've always felt like there's never enough hours in a day. But hopefully I'll be able to knock that out, get my laundry done. And have all my meals ready for tomorrow so I could just get up and go. But we'll see. We'll see how much I get done. So check in with y'all in a bit. Alright guys, here's dinner. Pork chops, some salsa on there. 
mushrooms, broccoli, carrots, cauliflower, two skinny cow, crisp, and I got some ice cream left over. It is, I rendered these uh, advertisements wrong, so whatever. I have to re-render them. That, I mean, that doesn't take real long, but it's just aggravating to pull everything up or whatever. But it looks like I'm not going to get as much done as I wanted to. But luckily, had a discussion and got all the drama worked out. Might have a little talk with y'all. Just It might be turned into a little rant, but just kind of, I won't go too in-depth, but... Um, I'm gonna eat and then I'll check in with y'all before I go to sleep tonight. Alright guys, Monday night. Got the video ready to go, but it's so late that, you know, uh, I'll probably just upload it, but schedule it to come on, uh, I guess noon tomorrow. So if you're watching this early, check back, check OU in the fitness around noon and go show some support. Um, yeah, so since it's so late, I think... Tomorrow is going to end the streak of French toast. I must have had French toast every day for the last week or week and a half, maybe. But, yeah, tomorrow, maybe I'll wake up early enough to make some before I go to work. But I'm just too tired. And I haven't even had a chance to plan everything out. So, we'll see. But as far as all the drama, uh, I guess without going too much into detail... The main thing I would have to say is that when it comes to like relationships, the only two people you need to make it work are the two people who are in it. Like, it's not this big collaborative effort between you guys and the rest of the world. You know what I mean? Like, when you're single, you're you're going out, you're, you're attracted to people who are attractive. They got either they look good or there's things about them that attract people of course right and so you want a person like that in your life and you know so when I was single I used to take that stance like you know you can't be mad at me we're out at a club and some girl walks by she looks good of course I'm gonna go approach her and talk to her if your boyfriend gets mad why because because I saw the same thing in you that he did or you know what I mean like it's just doesn't make any sense so when I'm on the other side of it, I, I'm in the same situation. I'm a slave to logic. I can't get around the fact. Uh, I, for some reason, this makes me different. But, you know, if we're out somewhere and somebody, if I, like, go to the bathroom, you know how guys, are they going to go, this, oh, this is my chance, let me go talk to her. Maybe they're just cousins. Or maybe, you know, I'm thinking, when I was single, I'm thinking of any, any reason to believe that the person, the girl is not, you know, that the girl is single. Whatever. I'm just assuming it. Whatever. I don't care how blatant it looks whatever but if the person voices that oh no I'm taking or you know whatever I'll ease off you know whatever so same thing and you know like I said if you if it, all it takes is you two then you, you definitely got to have trust you have to trust each other because just like I don't want to be like following behind making sure spending my every second of every day making sure that this person is not cheating or this person is not doing something they're not supposed to. You know, I want them to be able to go pursue their ambitions in life just like I'm trying to do my thing. I'm trying to, you know, pursue my goals and my interests. So I don't want I don't want somebody who has to worry about me. I want to be if I'm picking somebody to be with, that's one of the things I don't want to have to worry about. So trust. It takes two people to run a relationship and that's it. You know what I mean? Like, don't worry about the outside factors. If you decide, you know, you want to be with this person, then every day you need to be working to make them want to stay. The same thing on their end. Because, you know, you don't want them to have to be mean to everybody else in the world because you're a scared, you're afraid that you're going to lose them just because they have a pleasant conversation with somebody else. You know what I mean? If what you have is not stronger than a couple pleasant conversations, then... Maybe it is better that y'all split up. You know what I mean? So, whatever. You should be able to be polite to everybody, but it's got to be a line drawn. Like, just because you're being polite this person, to this person, when they see you with your significant other, it should be clear, there should be no doubt in their mind that what you have with your significant other is much more than what was just exchanged in that little friendly conversation. You know what I mean? It's got to be a clear distinction, and you should be able to make that clear to everybody. So, yeah, that's 
that's it. I guess that's <laughs> enough ranting for a while, but uh, check in with y'all tomorrow.